Right, so my mailbag items, let's see what we've got in here. This is an interestingly wrapped up one, so I'll take a guess. Cameras, awesome. So these are well, they should be reasonable security cameras. So, Hick Vision, I don't know. HRK Vision, I don't know. You could pronounce it. It's probably a Hick Vision, I don't know. So this one here is supposed to be what? 4mm lens, okay. So I ordered some other cameras too, so hopefully they've arrived as well in the other packages, we'll see. Uh, maybe, maybe not. That's some of the first ones. So these are 4 mils, which are less than 90 degree angle, so it's, um, I don't know, it's probably about 80 degrees, something like roughly. Which is kind of okay for a corner of a room, or maybe looking down the driveway a little bit with a wide view, that kind of thing. So we'll see how we go with those. But these are, in theory, reasonable cameras. It certainly feels robust enough. Has a little cleaning cloth and Allen key tool for getting the thing open. A little Torx screw and a sealer for that. So these are obviously PoE cameras and also have 12 volt capability as well. But be running PoE is simpler. And it has a nice little template for mounting it, which is handy. If I don't squash it flat, it'll be, it'll be quite good. Both these cameras are the same, so I'll be showing you both of them. Let's see what's in here. Getting smaller and smaller. What are these things? That is a SD card reader. Yep. SD card adapters. So I've got a few of those. Um, I haven't played around with SD cards before on Arduino, but in theory it should be pretty easy and straightforward. It's just using, you know, standard SPI and stuff. So, um, yeah, all time. Yeah, got through the same. So this would allow me on the project here for the leakage sitter. Or leakage tester, if I want to, I could probably, um, which is that same pinout, that's a programmer. No, it didn't pin out to that, it's a shame. But um, it means you could use this to write data to an SD card to do logging. So if you're doing really fast measurements, um, in order to see the response curve of the device under test, you could actually log it to the SD card faster than you can see it on the display. So I mean you've got the option there of saving it to a CSV file or something like that, and then you can actually look at it in Excel and actually graph it out. I thought that'd be a handy thing to do. So I'm probably going to add that onto the features of the unit. Um, I'll get the base system working first and I'll probably play around with that later on. Let's see what this is. Looks like high voltage DC power supplies. Ground VCC that side. AC out, DC in, DC out. No manual. This is going to take some figuring out, isn't it? Um, Remember what, this is a high voltage DC output, but I could be wrong. 5 volt in, out. It's got like a little scale here, 50 volt, 170, 200 volt. I'll have to figure these out. Um, I'll just put the information on that site, I expect. So I'll see adjustable voltage here. Yeah, I'm just a bit confused by them. I have to look it up and figure out what they are. So I can't really tell you much about them right now. There's a part number, if you want to look that up, maybe it'll help. Right, so now I've got this thing, uh, which is quite a big awkward box, so it might be interesting to try to open it. This on camera, let's try it in. There's 
on the box. And there's something else in there still. Let's open the other end up too. So what do we have in here? This is a mounting bracket. Interesting shapes. We have a stand. I'll have to zoom out for this. There go. And it's basically a tripod stand. I don't need to show you that much. Locking piece, and then it's telescopic as well. So it's got two, two stages of telescopic stuff. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be, but anyway. And it's got an end on there. Now I know what this is, but I'm just trying to see if anyone else can figure it out. There's a spring in the bottom, help that to come up, which is interesting. I wonder why. Right, so yeah, that does work. And on the end of this, we've got it looks a bit like an umbrella. In fact, it is a lot like an umbrella. So what this is for is uh, lighting setups. I just have to figure out how to set this up, so I think that has got to go in there or something. It's got like a little set screw in there. Okay, so it's just like a tensioner that shoves through there. If I can get this out far enough, it will shove through there, hopefully. I'm guessing here, yeah, of course, but that's what it looks like it does. Tighten it up to so hold it in place. And it's also got a pivot. And this other mount here, we go on to that part somehow. So I've got this to try and set up on my bench in some way or other. I'm not quite sure exactly how yet. To try and improve the lighting here some more. No, it always wants to cook over sideways. Put it in that much. Anyway, so yes. The idea really is I've got a nice white reflective thing here. What I want to do is try and shine a light at this when it's opened up. I'll probably put up quite high and try and get some more diffuse bright light down here. Um, I may not even end up using a tripod part, but it came with it, so you know, it's I may use it, I don't know yet. So after looking more closely at this part here, I realise that this is a hot shoe mount. Let's get this off. Alright, so you can put a light in here because you get lots of hot shoe lights, which are the camera mount lights. So you can slide that in there and then you tighten it up to lock it in place. And that way you can position it so it shines up into the umbrella there. So anyway, I just need to figure out how I'm going to mount this on my desk. Hopefully it improves the lighting. Well, I've got this package here from Amazon. So um, I think I know what it is. I don't actually remember for sure. Yeah. Okay, now, if they've done the usual stupid thing and put packaging on the top to protect it, nothing on the bottom. Packaging on the top, check. Nothing on the bottom. Check. <laughs> it's the bottom of the box is the most likely thing to get dropped and smashed. Why not wrap it in that bloody oh, morons? Anyway, never mind. Don't want that. Just, yep. I'm not going to rant about it. No, no, I'm going to not rant. Right. What do we get? So these are some dome cameras and 1080p cameras. Um, it's a huge amount on the box. I think they're both the same. Yeah, they're both the same camera. Software obligatory PoE concealment. And what looks like a rather nice camera. Tide Tech. Was it Jide Tech? Nah. Don't know why this is power 12 volt DC. So I want PoE cameras, they better be PoE. Better be. At least they come with brownie brackets, which is a little bit unusual. That's actually quite nice. 
usually you have to take the cover off and screw through. This is different. I don't know waterproof they are. We'll find out, I suppose. And what is there? I don't know, some manual stuff. Yeah, okay, shopping experience thing. Whatever. Let's make some space. Manual, let's have a little look, shall we? I don't know much about these. I think they were a couple of hundred bucks each in New Zealand. Oh, they must be a hundred US. I don't remember the exact price. So a quick start guide CD, which has got the little bit of software on it, I expect. So these are better be the PLE version. I don't actually remember. I guess I'll find out when I hook it up. My basic speculation. Yeah, I mean they're pretty simple things, you just plug things into power and off you go. So I need to plug this into power to see if it will work. Um, I shall do that somehow soon. Yeah. Alright, so I had to play around with that camera and it's a PTZ camera so it will pan and tilt and it doesn't zoom, it's actually a PT camera, pan and tilt. So we go side to side and up and down and move the, move the angle around. It won't zoom or just focusing on that side, so, um, but it, it does some movements, which could be handy. So I paid a little bit more for those because of that PTZ option. Both cameras are the same, so it seems to look fine. Quality looks okay. I can't say it's anything wonderful compared to some other cameras I've been using, but um, it's all right. And this is a mounting base for a larger size camera. Here's the stuff. Interesting. Um, sticky. Oh, because it's got this phone back in as it's stuck on. Right. But yeah, it's just a mounting base for a different size camera. Now, I've got a larger one, which is this size, and this base is obviously meant for that camera. Um, the idea there is you can mount that up and mount it flush on the wall, and you've got a room there for your cables and stuff to go into. And you can, you know, then just run a single Ethernet cable and worry about joins and that sort of stuff, and put, you know, trying to put the joints inside boxes and stuff like that. So. So weatherproofed and sealed and it looks alright. I mean this is probably going to slip off actually. You have to be careful about that. These mounts slipping off. This not lipped both ways. It's like an L-shaped rubber. See that there? Really it should be a U-shape so it wraps around. That way it won't slip off either way. But that's a little detail I suppose. But yeah, that's alright. That will fit my other camera. Um, which is which is a pan tilt zoom is a proper one, and it's got like a I think it zooms like 28 mil or something like that. It's it's um, it's pretty effective. Great for down the driveway. See right down, you can zoom right up to an unplayed stuff like that. It's brilliant. That's what that's for. It comes with screws as well. Obviously, a screw into that for the mounting, but not that exciting. But more toys to play with.